Hi, I'm Brian, Service Manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to give you a tour of the electronic components inside a Profitech Pro 300. Exciting. Yeah. I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. What do we got? All right, so we're going to start uh, kind of flow like the water. So okay. why not the pump? All right, <laughs> yeah, <okay>. so <laughs> here we have the vibratory pump. Uh, vibratory pump also has a fuse on it. Just, just in too case hot it, that goes? Yep. Yeah. Kind of unlikely that happens, but... No, yeah. they, they got safeties built in, so yeah. that shouldn't. But if for some reason you make it happen, you can just replace that. Okay. Okay. So, after the pump, we are going to travel up to the fill solenoid. The solenoid controls whether or not there is water going into your steam boiler. Uh, that is controlled by the liquid level probe up here. That's just a... Okay. Conductivity bar right up at the top, senses the water, tells it to stop filling. If it doesn't sense the water, it says, fill me up. Mm -hmm. That will activate the solenoid as well as the pump. Okay. Okay. Uh, stick to the steam boiler since we're right here. You've got two high limits right on the top here. You got one for your load and one for your neutral. With the Lose. little buttons on top there? Yep, yep, they are resettable. So, two okay. resettable limits right there. Um, then we'll tilt this up a little bit so you mm -hmm. can see down below, you got two legs going to your heating element. So I'll point out that on the steam boiler, you have the heating element on the bottom here, bolts in from the flange, mm -hmm. so there's just a seal underneath that. Fairly mm -hmm. quick and easy to replace. Um, stay on the topic of heating elements, move over to the brew boiler, and you've got top mounted element. So the way this one would work is you'd have to unscrew these bolts and mm -hmm. take the whole cap off to get this thing out. So it's a little bit different of a setup, but that's where you would test your element if you ever need to. Okay. okay. Um, right next to the element here, we have your NGC probe. This is what reads the temperature inside the boiler. And that goes down and communicates to your PID. Your PID, so you can sure we are all fairly familiar with the PID if you own this machine. Yep. Okay. And PID will send a signal to stack relay down here. And that relay works as a switch, which is what sends the power up to the element. Mm -hmm. Okay. Off of the relay, you also have to stop by two more of these high limits. Also resettable. Neutral. Load. So the purpose of those, just so we're clear, if things get too hot, it senses that, and it acts kind of like a circuit breaker. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. What else should we mission here? Oh, yes. A friend down in the center here. We've got another solenoid valve. This is your brew solenoid valve. So okay. when you lick the switch up front here to mm -hmm. brew, you've got three things that are going to happen. You're going to get the orange lamp that's right by it there will illuminate to say that it's trying to activate at least. Mm -hmm. It'll open up this solenoid and it will activate your pump. Okay. And we've got your main control board down here. So this is basically the brains of the operation. Everything's getting wired into here and that determines the sequence of what will happen and when. So it controls your liquid level, controls your pump, controls your solenoids, controls everything. So if that ever goes, you you're just got a big piece of metal sitting on your counter. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, behind here is the backs to your switches. So you okay. got these these guys here. Yep. yep. Guy there. Guy there. Power. Steam. Okay. And also on the back side of the front here, you have the wires going to the rest of your lamps. Mm -hmm. and those are all wired in so that whenever there is a current going to the correlating function, it will also light, light those up. Okay. Okay. And I think that's it. I don't think I missed anything here today. I mean, well, the pressure stat, right? It's got a couple of electrical Oh, connections. Yeah, yeah. I did miss something. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yeah. More than just a handsome voice back there. Yeah. All right, so this is your pressure stat or pressure switch. Uh, so what happens is there's a little diaphragm in there that as it raises up, it will press a button that switches between which of these legs is going to. So when there's no pressure, there's going to be current going between the top and the bottom leg. Mm -hmm. So once you've hit 
the set pressure, it'll switch to the middle leg cutting the current from that and telling mm. it to stop heating. Okay. I think. Pretty straightforward, I think. I think that's about yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I think, we, think we got it all. Uh, very interesting to see the inside of the machine. Brian, thanks for taking us on the tour. Yeah, not a problem.